whoever is excited for the more fun <laughs> i i welcome them one more time welcome to the world of fun and excitement okay so now let's do a most fun and excited uh fantastic and excited uh, uh exercise or example so now for the same static website that we have uh, deployed manually we are gonna deploy it using docker file using docker file so what we are gonna do is we will write I'll write it this is example 7 and deployment using docker container and three steps step one writing a docker file step two building a docker image from the docker file and third step running or spinning a container defined by the docker file docker image and the last uh, step here is that's an additional one or augmented step uh, that is uh, pushing to the docker hub so these are the four steps we're gonna do so now it's time to write our docker file so but before that you should go through the activities that we have done the steps that we have uh, followed to deploy at the same web application in manually inside uh, inside the manual deployment example you see that here so now so let's write our docker file so but before writing a docker file so we will do this activities as usual so these two steps the initial two steps remain same <coughs> so setting up a ec2 instance or provisioning a vm and getting the source code so till that it remains same we'll keep the same and then from here we will build a docker file so let's get into the ec2 instance first so the first step is done ec2 instance with the ubuntu i we call it as a docker server and the second step is to fetch or download the source code okay for that we will get into so let me okay it's gone clear the screen okay it will become a sudo i clear the screen root user let me get into the home and go burn to yes ls here i will create mkdir and this is docker mm, web docker okay and cd web docker so inside you see nothing is there completely empty so now let me get into the sticky note so the first step is done the second step is to fetch the source code from the two two plate for that what we require we need to uh, download that for that we need wget and we need to unzip that for that we need unzip so these two steps presently at this moment it's manual step only let's do it manually 
then after that we can make it completely automated but for now it's manual so let me do um, apt update and apt install wget unzip at a time at a time single command i just want to do a, 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 a single stretch so that's it installation is been has been done now wget and so let's uh, copy the same uh, link and we'll fetch the zipped file from two plate copy it i will paste it here mm. that's okay where i am ls pwd yeah w get and paste url okay it's not copied properly copy clear the screen w get and paste it enter ls so now it's time to unzip it so to unzip i'll say unzip and 21 32 so let me check ls it's been unzipped so now what we have to do is we have to package it into tarball so why we are doing this packaging into tarball because after that we will do the similar activity inside the container so we will provide a tarball in spite of see we are downloading the dot zip zipped file but so installing a zip and un, 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 unzipping a zipped file insta, uh, inside the container is pretty difficult so that's the reason we will make a tarball and then we will give a tarball to the container so container will unzip it uh, container will untar it and it will it will place it inside the uh, inside the hosting directory so that's the main uh, motivation main agenda here so let me after unzipping so let me enter into that 2132 ls you see all the files now let me do tar tar c z f tar c z f and the name i'm gonna give is clean work t g z and let me click okay what's wrong okay we are missing something that is this yes we need to give the files we forgot to attach that files okay now i'm entering so now let me check ls you see that you yeah, the clean work dot tz t g z so it's been created our tar file a tar ball has been created so with this our all manual steps has been completed the final step what we are going to do is we will move this tar ball into move this tar ball into clean to the okay we'll keep it here only no we'll we'll move it outside see move or we'll copy it clean to yeah you see you got the tar ball now so exactly in this directory we are going to create our uh, our docker file so the first two steps are successful these are manual steps only now the actual steps are begun yeah so now let's write our docker file first so vim cap capital d docker file yes now let's discuss the activity what are the activities we have done it manually so let me put this here now let's go through it one by one 
So this is the manual deployment. The first step of manual deployment is to setting up an EC2 instance or provisioning a virtual machine. Okay. So we have used Ubuntu AMI for EC2 instance. So here also the first step for us to have a basic image which could be a Ubuntu or CentOS, whatever it may be. So here I am going to take Ubuntu, the basic image, Ubuntu. Inside that Ubuntu, inside that Ubuntu machine, inside that Ubuntu instance or inside that Ubuntu virtual machine, I am going to run my, I am going to deploy my project, deploy my web application. So that's the reason. I will give from and it's Ubuntu tag is latest. Done. So then it's not necessary. If you want to attach a label, it's fine or else it's not required. Still, we will attach the labels. Project. This is AI project. Okay. Done. Then environment env. So Debian front end, whether you want interactive or non interactive. Here in this case, I want non interactive. Every should happen, everything should happen behind the screen. So not nothing should be printed on the screen. So for that, I need to take an environment variable. So that's the reason I have mentioned env. So Debian front end. This should be non interactive. So, as per the manual deployment, the first step is to setting up a EC2 instance or provisioning a VM and install Ubuntu or CentOS. So, the first step has been done with that. You see, Ubuntu. So, the first step has been done. So, now let's move into the second step. So what is second step uh, and third step for us here? So second step and third step for us here is uh, to download the source code and then unzip it and install the service Apache 2. Okay. So but here in manual deployment, we got it dot zip. But here we, we have tarball. So you we have a tar package. So now we have to, the next step for us is to install Apache 2, that's the service and after that we have to copy the tarball and then place it inside the container and untar it and then copy it, the source code inside the untar the directory and place it in the hosted directory and start and enable the Apache 2. That's it. If that is done, so these activities we have to convert into commands in the Ubuntu, let, uh, in the Docker file. Let's see. So the next step for us to install Apache 2 service. So for that, I will say run is the command that we use to run some commands, Linux, uh, some Linux commands in, in Docker container. So run and apt update first. So before we install any tool, we will update. So that's the reason we will update first and then double ampersand. So you exit after that update, you execute uh, uh, apt install Apache 2. Then as well as git, wget and y. So git and wget are not required at this moment. But still, we have installed it. Okay wget is done so now this is done so let us get into the activity list so installation of apache 2 step is done we have attached that also now what's next now it's time to copy the tar ball okay source code we require source code correct copy the tar ball it is in present direct at present directory, I'll the present working directory pwd. So I'll say asterisk, or it's better to use. Uh, let's see, we'll use asterisk. 
all in the present directory and then then copy to where dub 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 html so here it's going to copy our tarball from present working directory where this docker file is there and it will place it into where dub 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 html of the container not ours not in the docker server it will place it in the containers uh, uh, directory okay containers hosting directory then so once this is done now it's time as we are copying the tarball now we have to untar the tarball so for that we have to run we have to enter inside that directory run cd enter into the var dub 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 that's a hosting directory html and once you enter inside that what you have to do next next you have to untar it tar x z f and what's the file name file name is clean okay clean work dot t g z i hope we'll cross check it we'll cross check it then so you, once you untar it your source code is exposed now it's all done till this step it's all done so this is done and copying the source code to hosted directory hosting directory is also done what's left now now it's time to start your apache 2 apache 2 service it's it's time to enable the apache 2 service for that i will use cmd what is cmd cmd means it cm whatever you mention whatever commands that you give in cmd that will be executed when you spin a container when you spin a container when you run a container so now what i want to execute when i when my container is getting started that time i want to start apache 2 so that's what i'm going to give here i'm going to start my apache 2 service user bin sorry has been an apache 2 ctl so you go there you will find this apache 2 ctl binary and then you pick it up then use capital D option and then run this on foreground there inside the container. That's it. So now it's all up to you to add volume or not. So I will add a volume. Volume is again where these are additional. Uh, these are all additional. So I don't add additional things. So work there, we will set up work there, this is anywhere required, work there is common. So where dub 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 html, this is our working directory, okay. When as soon as you log into the container, this is where you will enter. As soon as you enter inside the container terminal, the directory will be here. This directory you will be entered. So then we will expose this to port number. 80 this is container port 80 with this our docker file is absolutely ready but let us cross check one more time all the activities so activity one our ubuntu machine then after that we need to install apache 2 service then we need a tarball source code tarball so we got it and we have to untar the tarball so we have untarred it once your source code is exposed to the hosting directory now it's time to start and enable our apache 2 service and that's been done and finally we want to expose this application inside the container at port number 80 this is container port number 80 and this this application will be this service this apache 2 service will be running at port number 80 of container okay let's get here let's get into here 
So writing a Docker file is done. So what's left next? Now it's time to build a Docker image from the Docker file. So before that, let me check the name of the WQ ls here it is our docker file so name cleanwork.tgz i hope it's correct yeah so our docker file is ready so now let's build our docker image for that i should be in the same directory where my docker file presented so let me do ls you see here so now i will build image docker build option t to provide tag so i will tag it as a cube charan and this is clean work and version 1 and space where is the docker file inside this directory so that's why i'll say dot and let's enter let's click enter app does not have a stable cli interface uh, use with caution that's okay 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 that's fine we have built a docker file from scratch now it's done when using copy with more than one source file the destination must be a directory and with oh sorry docker images let's see whether it's been created or not there is some issue uh, yeah it got created but we have to delete that it's not it's not it won't work docker rmi okay i have deleted the wrong one so docker rmi cube okay clear so now let me give vim docker file open so what's wrong where is that cop yeah here so forward slash that will become a root directory yeah so let's build now let's build it This time it's successful. You can see that successfully built and successfully tagged. So let's cross check. Uh, okay, this has been uh, image has been built, but uh, before that, I just want to cross check the. Um, let me click on. Yeah. Step two building a Docker image from Docker file is also done, but uh, let me cross check Docker exec it and uh, the name no, no docker inspect cube yeah last thing time layers okay fine directory your linux size virtual okay foreground var dub dub html
so let me check now let's run docker run name this is clean work clean work app and detached mode and port uh, 8080 it's running I think 8080 is running one application is running at 80 so now I'm gonna give 80 80 mapped with 80 of the container port and image name is cube cube charan what's the image name yeah user has been apache 2 okay it's been executed and here let me cross check that image name cube charan clean work tag one clean work tag one clean work v1 so user has been apache 2 ctl no such file or directory okay got it one more mistake uh, for that I have to create again I have to stop that uh, image I have to remove the image docker rmi or else let we'll leave it like that and we'll create version 2 of it so vim docker file open i so here is the mistake wq and let's run docker build this time it is version 2 yeah successfully build now we'll run uh, we'll run the container version 2 and uh, yeah container clean work container one yes now it's successfully built without any problem so let me before we uh, go to the browser and check let me say docker ps yes it's 88080 at this port it's running and user has been apache 2 okay that's fine but uh, let me do docker exec i just want to confirm one thing so container name is uh, clean work one correct hmm. then bin bash yeah see we have landed up in where dub 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 html because that's what the working directory we have given yes now let me do ls yes okay it's been correctly untarred you can see all the files no problem so now let me directly get into the so let me copy the same browse uh, same public ip and uh, paste it here this time it is 8080 just a minute that's it that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> at the both places so you see the public ip public ip but this is port number 8080 default one this is this is port number port number 80 default one this is port number 8080 so at this port application is running without container but here the containerized the containerized application is running from the same server at port number 80 let me refresh it you see that it's running let me refresh it one more time see 
this is at a zero this is the application that we have just that we have deployed uh, manually it is an application and this is containerized application containerized application is running at 8080 and a normal application which is in, which is deployed inside the uh, server docker server is running at 80 port you can see that magic <laughs> both are running so we have built it we have built so now let me uh, check mark this so running and spinning a container uh, uh, spinning a container defined by the docker image is also done so we have created a docker file from scratch we have built the docker image then we have spun the docker image and we have spun the container you can see that it looks good it's all fun i enjoy it you see both are working and this is containerized application working from the same server see office cleaning let me get back to the home click on kitchen cleaning you see kitchen cleaning template let me get back to the home or click pages our service coming soon page so click on coming soon you see that everything so hence proved so hence proved that a docker file is nothing but a set of instructions that we do manually so the set of activities or steps that we do manually we have to convert that into commands and give it to the docker file that's it that's what the docker file in the simplest way the most rudimentary way of explanation is this and i have proven it also okay so these activities we have all these activities we have converted it to and we have proven it so now the bonus step pushing this to docker hub that also will do so let me get into the yeah ls so now okay sorry i'm sorry i'm inside the container now i have to exit from the container you see that i have told you if i put a, a working dir as this when i log when i enter inside the container when i log log into the con container it will i will land up there i will be landed up in this hosting directory yes it is yes see and all the files has been pasted into the hosting directory and we could see the application hosted in this container okay so in a simplistic way a container is a miniature virtual machine it's not don't take it exactly yeah so it's a miniature uh, con container is a miniature virtual machine or instance okay consider it like that only because you can see that you see same you have everything a root user and you have host machine host name then you have directories and inside that we have installed the service we have run the service we have started the service we have enabled the service we have copied the direct we have copied the files source code and we have moved the source code we have untapped the source codes what is there what is that it's nothing but a miniature virtual machine a lightweight virtual machine okay consider it as a lightweight virtual machine whatever is required for our application so that only will be presented in that okay this is the simplest way of uh, explaining okay so now let me exit from the container now i came out of the container so now let me do docker push okay let's check the images first we have uh, uh, version 2 is working properly version 1 we have some issue so that's the reason i will remove the version 1 it's not required 
cube version 1 now docker image ah ok one container is running with the docker version 1 ok I have to remove that first docker ps option a mm, what is that Where, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. clean work this one so docker ps docker rm clean work mm. now I can remove docker rmi cube version 1 yes done so docker images now I am gonna push this image into my directory my github my docker hub account docker push clean work version 2 let's push it preparing preparing all the layers all the layers have been being pushed you see layer wise it's pushing layer wise it's pushing layer wise oh okay it's mounted mounted from this okay i pushed this image and it's giving something okay it has pushed something else i gave this cube chair and clean work but it had pushed this okay let me cross check this repository refresh it yeah got it you see it clean work see that so hence we have proven what is a docker file okay now just for fun we are going to do one more activity what is that so now i will use this image so that i have just created and i have pushed it into the doc, uh, docker hub i will copy this okay uh, no this is a tag so i'll click on this tags yeah, i'll copy this one yeah full command be has been copied now i will get into the windows machine clear the screen so here okay i'll open windows powershell windows powershell run as administrator yeah, clear the screen and i'm gonna pull that image from docker hub and i run the same image you can see the power of uh, uh, docker images okay i have written from scratch built it and i have pushed it into the docker hub now i will pull that and we will see what's gonna happen let me click enter okay it's pulling the layers one by one oh this is too much it will take a lot of time okay finally it's done so let's uh, get into the docker hub and let's check the image you see that it's cube chair and clean work it's unused till now so let me check here also docker images and cube chair and so now let me run it from here from docker i'll run it from here only because we have run it from there last time run optional settings post port that's okay 80 the rest let it be
Okay, that's fine. Apache 2 could not reliably determine the server fully qualified domain name. That's the problem with the server because it's a Windows. For this Windows, you need a Windows uh, machine. That's okay. But you should got the logic. What I'm uh, trying to prove here. So what I'm trying to prove here is once the image is built, you can it can be used by anybody. Anybody means literally anybody who has the access to that.